Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spyro Year of the Dragon. In the previous episode, we we, we played with some sun and clouds. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm sorry. It's uh, it's a rough day. It's a rough recording day and we're going to keep on going forward with it anyway. All right, so we uh, we didn't complete the last level 100% though. We did one of them 100% toe, but not the other one. A little weird, but uh, we had to do it that way. What the heck? We have to gather together all these guys so that we can activate the balloon? Okay, cool, that's a cool little feature. Uh, does that mean we only have this place left? And if we hopefully meet Sergeant Bird and we can go back and get 100% on that other level. Yeah, 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 please, please, please. Yay, my portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. <gasps> We're going to the beach today. I got a little sunburnt for this episode, so uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, it's an underwater level. Ooh, the entire level's gonna be like this. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. You know, honestly, I'm on the side of the Rhinox there. You just went, you stole a vehicle and you went for a joyride and you crashed it. So, of course, they're gonna lock you up. Whoa, what's that? Is that a duck? Let me just blow fire at you, duck. <laughs> so, this entire level, we don't get to use fire at all unless we get like. The, uh, the fire blast ability. I don't know what it's called properly. Fireball? I don't know. We just, we make up names for everything anyway, even if we did know the name. Huh. Uh, for now, though. Hello? I guess we have to take out all these guys, too, since we now know that they are dropping, um, gems. Can I... Can I, can I please? Oh, you aren't even like one of the enemies. You're just the butterfly things. You're an enemy though. There we go. And then this guy's also an enemy. Oh. Oh, the music. It's so nice. We haven't commented on it for a little while, but I have to comment on it. <laughs> it's just so good. Uh, is this a thing to break? Cool. I'm making myself so dizzy on this level. I'm so sorry if I'm making you guys feel sick as well. I find that like when I edit it after I'm saying that, I don't actually get sick while I'm editing sometimes. But other times I'm like, I'm going all over the place. So it's making me even nauseous now after the fact. And I'm like, oh, I remember how I was feeling during that time. Uh, do we go in here? Okay. You have a harpoon gun, right? That's just like a stereotypical thing. Maybe you have a different kind of gun. Usually it's a harpoon though when they're underwater, right? Ooh, boy. Okay, we're gonna go upwards, I guess, first. Oh, there is a section that's above water. Okay, wait, then there's also another way to go down there, right? I missed something. I'll be right back. Aha, this way. Oh, oh. It, be. Hello? <laughs> there we go. And we got a bonus life from going that way too, so it's probably gonna be important. Alright, now let's go up to the top. If you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. What the heck? It was that easy this entire time? Why was that? Why didn't they tell me this back in like the first game? <laughs> The guidebook button. Oh my goodness, I would have saved so much time before. Holy moly. Instead, I always pause the game and select it. Dang it. Always learning. Hello. Okay, well, that was very bad. <laughs> this guy's just doing it just to distract us, but can we swim here? <gasps> okay, we can. So we gotta get the gems all under here. Oh, uh, the water levels are almost as painful for getting these gems as like whenever there's a level with lots of tall grass and you have to pick up all the gems. It's very frustrating in some cases, but there's an egg. Jason! Uh, 
Aww. 25 eggs already, holy moly. That's probably like a quarter of the eggs, maybe. Unless it's like a weird game like the last one, which had 64 as the number. Very strange. Okay, now we jump across here. Much easier when you don't have these barrel throwing Rhinox. Oh, they changed the color of them for this level too. They made them orange. Maybe they got a little bit of a tan? Fancy. Nice little detail there. That looked like a way to go. That's why I tried it. But no, this is the way to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Man, the lack of uh, cutscenes is really. <laughs> there's only like a couple, and they're so, so so sparse. Like in the last game, if I didn't take a drink during the cutscene, I was like, oh no, my my voice is kind of getting a little hoarse, so I gotta make sure I take take something. But now I'm feeling it, and my throat's like uh, dry. Come on, take a drink, and I'm like, I would, but we're playing the we're in the middle of the level. I can't just stop. I probably will at some point end up cutting you it. You can but... hover to get more distance when gliding. Just press the action button at the end of your glide. But still, I don't like it, you know? <laughs> we'll find a place here eventually where they'll talk and I'll have a quick second to get some water and then life will be good again. But then you'll hear like my voice change. It'll go from being like almost raspy and coffee sounding to um, very smooth like butter. Unless you can't really tell a difference right now, it's only literally me that can tell a difference, and because I'm listening to myself. <sighs> then never mind, it's okay. Oh, they have a little tail. That's cute. Didn't notice that before. Nice and easy. Any gems in here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You guys thought you could hide from me, huh? You guys got some weird bathing suits. Is that a golden shell? Those aren't really weird bathing suits. They're more like the, uh, hmm. Hmm, they're like the wrestling outfits. Like the classic wrestling kind of things. <laughs> we have one more guy to take out, don't we? Yeah, right here. And we have Mr. Octopus. We broke open the door by accident there. Don't look inside yet. We're not that far ahead in the game. Oh, wait, we found a secret. Secret entrance? Oh my goodness, I'm making myself so sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Flipping water levels. They're like that weird kind of level that like, I like them, but I don't like them. Even if they're like 2D and it's like 2D Mario kind of water levels, I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I like this or not. There we go. Now let's go inside of the golden shell. My plan worked! That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends! Oh, I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Dizzy. <laughs> what I'm feeling after this level. <laughs> what an appropriately named dragon. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we go up here to get um, these gems. And then there was a part with a purple portal that we could go into. I don't remember where that was. Okay, so we got four more eggs to get and ooh, a lot more gems. So it's probably in that purple portal. Purple blah, 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 blah. purple portal. <laughs> purple portal. <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast, huh? Oh, wait, there's gems up there. I didn't even mean to find those, but okay. There's gems up top. How do we get up there? Oh, wait a minute. Is this the whole secret section over here? Do I have to go like, like up here and so do something? Like go backwards? <gasps> oh my goodness, that you can definitely make that. That's definitely possible. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm a genius. Never would have crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. I hate it when that happens. That's why you never handbrake U-turn when you're doing an inverted barrel roll with a car. You're not gonna give me anything for finding you? You're just like a little secret? Okay. That's nice. Oh, wait a minute. I was like, what's over here? We got a Sheila level. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Mmm, okay. You can still swim, right? Wait, can you, can you dive? No, she can't. Oh man, it feels like it's been so long since I played as Sheila. We can probably smash this open, right? Yeah, let's go. Hi, Sheila. The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, we got a time limit. Okay, well, I would have gotten these a little bit sooner then. It's okay, we can get all these. A minute and a half to do this. Last time they gave us a ton of time, and it seemed like it wasn't a long time for the skateboarding challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like it wasn't long enough, but then we realized, wait a minute, this is so easy. Although, this time, there's a lot of turrets, so maybe this is a little bit more challenging? Hmm... We just gotta make sure we just jump on the ones where there's turrets and smash those ones only. So we can't do every single box. But there might be a skill point for breaking all the boxes? Ooh, wait. Ooh, stepping on the guys actually makes it faster somehow? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, good thing I can't turn that far. Okay. Sorry, I'm focusing because the time limit's starting to stress me out a little bit. <laughs> uh. We got two more turrets in 15 seconds. 10 seconds to get the last turret. 8 seconds to get the last turret. Wow! I can't believe I survived that blast! It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Molly fit in your pocket? He's the same size as your body. <laughs> oh my goodness. That must be some really big pockets he got there. That explosion though, that was epic. I wonder what it looked like on the, uh, the PlayStation 1 when that happened. Probably not as epic, but it, it still could have been cool. Come here, you. Oh, Sparks is showing us a secret up here. Thank you. Jared. If we find a little cute uh, Mark Dragon, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> it comes out of one of those eggs. <laughs> you know it's gonna happen. Or if we find like a Chelsea Dragon, I'm gonna Aww. definitely lose my mind as well. Anytime I run into someone that I will, I know IRL, we'll just, we'll freak out over it. We'll be like, oh my goodness, it's them as a dragon. It's probably happened so far. I've known like some of the names that have popped up so far, but I haven't really done anything crazy about it. Hopefully I've said your name by this point, or if I don't, maybe I'll say it in the future. Maybe? Who knows? It might happen. Anyway, we gotta head back to the other purple portal, because I don't think that was the one I was thinking of in my brain. There's the purple portal I was thinking of in my brain. Let's see what happens when we go inside of it. Used to have a dragon egg for you, but instead I used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single rhinox in the tunnel.
Uh, okay, I can do that. But well, we turn around first to look behind us, just in case you have a secret back there. All right, what's this? So I gotta just make sure I control this properly, dodge the mines, and hit the guys. All I heard was something about the killing all the Rhinox. That seems about right. Oh my goodness. At least there's no, he doesn't say, oh, having trouble with the trolley? Have you tried? <laughs> That's very nice of him. This is very uh, reminiscent of any of the levels though, like a grind rail or or uh, Ratchet and Clank with the, or, sorry, not Ratchet and Clank, uh, Jack and Daxter with the, um, da, 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 any of the levels that like they control the stuff for you and you just have to hit everything. I'm thinking of Jack and Daxter with when you had to slide down those tubes and collect all the orbs. That's what this is like. Anyway, if I don't make it this time, we're gonna cut it to the time that I do make it. Oh. We're doing well though. Oh. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Interesting. Duke. That was actually pretty tricky, but I'm glad I did it on that try that I said that would, if I didn't make it. <laughs> Good, he's not saying, oh, we threw another one in there. This time it's even more challenging than what you just did. He's now pointing upwards. Uh, oh, whoa, there's a surface section. Dude, and there's another purple portal. <laughs> purple portal. <laughs> Three purple portals in one level. Why am I saying it so funky? I said it funny the first time, but then I, it was so funny and it rolled off the tongue so easily that now I can't stop saying purple portal. Oh my goodness. Pluto the Rhinoc has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. What do you say? Do you want to take on Pluto? Sure, let's take on Pluto. Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. Okay, press X to speed up, press circle to fire a missile, and pick up crates for more missiles. Okay, 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 so we get to control ourselves here. That's one guy down. Oh my goodness, this actually controls so weird. Do I have to come back for these gems? Oh, it's a robot shark. That's terrifying. Okay, so we just gotta wait until, oh, Spyro looks really happy. I just realized he's not, we're not red anymore. We are default Spyro. Oh, okay, I see how this works now. It's like a mini boss again. Check out this trigger finger. <laughs> yeah, just unload all of the missiles on him. Skirt, skirt. Okay, now we dodge him. Wow, this boat's actually really fast. Never mind. Come on, turn. Turn. I suck. Uh, Spyro, <laughs> you're so chill. <laughs> you're so chill for everything that's happening right now. I keep running into the walls. I don't even know how to control the boat properly. Ooh, we can pick up 12? I thought we could only pick up like 10 as the max. Oh wait, he's getting more HP. We don't want him to get any more HP. Wow, that's the first time Pluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Jackie. Wow, 30 eggs. Oh, whoa, there's uh, stuff down here too. I didn't think there would be. <laughs> I just kind of dashed into the water. Okay, well, um, we do have those other few gems I saw on the surface that we'll get, but we'll get all the ones underwater first, and then we'll grab those ones. Uh, oh, we're missing those things. Is there somewhere where I can get sparks back real quick? He'll make my life a lot easier down here. And for finding the ones that I'm missing, too. There has to be, like, one of those little duck creatures. Oh, my goodness. I cannot get this one gem. Please. Hmm. 
man, having to manually pick up these things is the most annoying part about these games when you don't have <laughs> sparks on your side. Little rip. Okay, well, I think we got all the ones here. We just have, like, these two. Please be the last one. Dang it. We're missing one red one somewhere. It's probably in here, too. It's probably most definitely in here. We just don't have sparks with us. Yeah, I'm gonna go get sparks back. So getting sparks back there gave me a, uh, a skill point for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it did. Okay, that would have, I could have easily just dove down where I was when I'm like, oh no, there's one left, but I didn't think, I was like, no, I'm not gonna spend the time looking for it here, because what happens if the red gem isn't here, huh? Anyway, yeah, we got a skill point for getting sparks back. I guess it was we got all the uh, these duck guys or something. I don't know. We ki killed a bunch of them. Um, we can check, actually, see maybe what it was. Seashell. Catch the funky chicken. Oh, okay. Cool. Anyway, we look golden while we're standing next to this. That looks really nice. We look really cool. Let's get out of this level, though. Woo. Let's head on over to the balloon. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, now we have everyone here. <gasps> okay, I'm going to leave this for the next episode because it's probably going to be a boss or something. But uh, I want to thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Spyro, You're the Dragon. Yep, remember the title. <laughs> and uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.